So what we try to look for in choosing a metric uh, for all of this is a metric that integrates growth, integrates profit, integrates return on capital, recognizes the cost of capital, and basically represents value in a holistic way. And it happens to be that economic profit integrates all. The size of economic profit has to do with your margin, return on capital, and cost of capital. The increase in the size of economic profit has to do with growth, growth in margin, growth in return on capital. And so you capture growth and size in one metric, and it happens to be correlated to share prices too in a very strong way. The only thing it doesn't do is the short-term volatility of the stock market is not in there. And in a strategic discussion, the stock market can't be the relevant discussion. It's just too volatile for the individual company and too big for the individual company to influence. So economic profit is in a way kind of easy. It's your operating profit after tax minus the cost of capital times your capital. So it's basically the excess absolute margin that you make after you pay your capital. Thank you.